Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and uh, Link's looking a little bit cold so we're going to have to do something about that. So let's go ahead and let him eat this. That'll give him two and a half minutes of cold resistance. We got a couple more meals with cold resistance and a couple of them are fairly long so I think we're going to be okay. Um, Alright, so we need to check out that area. We need to go over there. We need to go there. And eventually, we're going to be making our way back to the Temple of Time. So, I also want to do that area over there. There's a chest over there that we can get. Oh, it undid my thing. I was going to just reuse that. That's too bad. Okay, so... Ooh, you know what? I wonder if we can use that now. Oh, shit. I almost jumped off a cliff. <laughs> can we use our new ability on this? I think we can. Two of these? Oh dear. Okay, so we found out that these are really effective, though. Oh, I hate it when the bow breaks. You have to do so many button combinations to get to this. Okay, not bad. That's a good way of dealing with those guys. Those guys, um, can be pretty mean, so... Alright, do I want that broadsword? Yes, I do. Okay, stone axe, we're good on that. All right. Now I think we can use the send over here to get up there really easily again. Let's find out if that's true. I think that there is a, a height limit. I just don't know what it is yet. Oh, don't make me build a thing again to get back up there. Um, okay. We need to eat another one of these. Let's take a long one. We're gonna we're gonna be in the cold just a little bit. Quite a bit longer, so. Um, let's see. If I go into the cave, can I ascend up there? Sure can. Okay. I wonder if that's enough to keep us warm from here on out in this area. I guess we're going to find out, huh? Hmm. 
The Zonai devices were the pinnacle of our technology. We built an advanced civilization with them and flourished for many, many years. Oh. If you can master the use of the Zonai devices, your quest will be much easier. Oh, you bet I'm going to be trying to fly one of these things. All right, let's go up here. My maintenance duties are complete for today. It has been another cycle with no visitors. Oh? This is a rarity. It is unusual for me to receive visitors here. I assume you will require Zonai devices to descend the mountain. Would you like to use the device dispenser? Okay, this is basically if you miss the other one, this guy will tell you um, as well. Yeah, we got so many of those right now. We'll turn some of these into capsules. <laughs> it can harness lift to ride the wind. To fly farther, try balancing in the center of the wing. Okay, flame emitter. So wings are the only new ones I'm seeing. Okay, let's do one more set. Alright, now we have a couple of wings. Now, do they still need a fan on them? Okay, these are kind of like little launch pads. Okay, just checking to see if there's any fans nearby. So maybe I'll just have to pop a capsule. Yeah, this thing isn't going to move without one, so... <laughs> you know what? I would, wouldn't I? And also... Alright, we're, le we're learning all the things. <laughs> also move it to the other track. Hey, look at that. All right, now if I go here, it'll tip down. And I can actually probably steer it. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. All right, there goes our battery. That's okay. We can fall into the water. Oh, also it will keep going. Okay, so you don't necessarily need it. <laughs> That's ridiculous and I love it. 
Okay. Temple of Time, let's go. Main quest down. Oh damn, if that's one of the tiers, I was fully expecting them to be smaller. <laughs> Looks like it's translucent. So she's not here physically. Where are you, girl? I mean, this is the Temple of Time. I wonder if she got sent back in time. What is happening? Recall. Reverse an object's movement until it goes back to where it was. You can stop the reverse movement at any time. Ah, recall. The ability to reverse the movement of an object through time. You know what? Makes sense that you'd get that power from the Temple of Time, huh? And Zelda has vanished as well. Hmm. What you just saw, it's a mystery even to me. Perhaps it was a sort of echo. One that reflects her sheer will? That you've now been given this ability, no doubt it will prove important. Okay. Hylia statue. All right, princess, guide me. The goddess statue smiles upon you. I wonder if that would heal us if we were not hurt. 
Now, in the previous game, we were also able to spend what we got at the shrines to increase either health or stamina. Um, but we may not be able to do that quite yet. Interesting. Well, this door stands as a test of your own overall vitality. Similar to uh, us pulling the Master Sword in the previous game. I'm wondering if Zelda is somewhere beyond this door. And so our major goal is going to be to be able to get past this door. Mm. You remain in a weakened state. You're not yet strong enough to open it. But there is one more shrine on this island. There, you can get another blessing. If you add that to the other blessings you received at shrines and offer them all to the goddess, you might just find your way forward after all. Okay, cool. Let me see the Pura Pad. The Pura Pad lets you travel to certain places instantly. Now see all of the blue markers on your map? You can travel instantly to any of them. I'd suggest the one at the bottom of, uh, at the bottom of your map. Use the travel function to reach that area quickly. You'll find the last of this island's shrines around there somewhere. Okay. Okay, just wanted to see if there were any chests. You never know. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this. Let's just uh, teleport right now. Okay, right back where we started. I wonder if I was supposed to go backwards. Okay, that's where we originally jumped off. So honestly, actually, I think I may have just done it a little bit too late if I would have done it. You know what? Let's just go back to where we were and try and do it in the room that we start in. Gosh, I'm going to have to like think about this world in a completely different way with this ascendability. It's going to be weird. Okay, so this ceiling's gonna be too high. Oh! Duh. Um, hold on. But how can I get up? 
Can I use the send on... Oh, I can use the send right here, dummy. So we ascend here, then we use our time abilities. What is that one? Oh, that just takes us to the map. Gotcha. Cool. Very, very cool. Hey, buddy. This is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Okay. An energy well can increase the capacity of the energy cell you are carrying. This increased capacity will allow you to use Zonai devices for longer periods. I can produce the, uh, these energy wells for you if you bring me crystallized charges. Shall I begin production, or would you like me to explain crystallized charges? Get producing. The production will require at least 100 crystallized charges. Okay, that is more than I was expecting. Be I'm going to be real with you. Return when you have collected a sufficient amount. One note regarding the Zonite. Required to process crystallized charges. The mines on this island have nearly run dry. I doubt there is enough left to produce an energy well. Clearly. But there is more to be had. Check the distant depths of the world below. That is its original source. Thank you, Steward Construct. Okay, at least we have a number now. 100. Okay, the ability to rewind. Oh, I needed to keep going. Never mind. <laughs> That's so great. That's so good. Alright, so it looks like when they match up, the door opens. So, when they match up, I reverse one of them.
I'm telling you, I'm gonna check behind this every single shrine, I promise you. Everyone. You just watch, try and stop me. Visitor to the Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Yeah, this game is going to be wild. Okay. to that island right there? Is that the first one we fell into? I don't think so. Oh no. Oh no! I thought I was going to have a lot more control in the air. <laughs> okay. I was trying <laughs> I was trying to fall into the the water thing. <laughs> Get that Korok. Okay, let's see if it puts us up at the top again. It did. Good. Okay, so do I not have air control? Uh, not really. Alright, let's die so we go back up there. Can you imagine? Can can you imagine dying like that? <laughs> In reality, he probably would have been in pieces. Good God. I wonder if I have to actually dive dive to get into that. Like the R dive. Or if just falling into it will count. <sighs> 
think I'm overthinking it. I think if I just safely get onto the island, I can probably just jump off of the edge into the hole. I will do this as many times as I have to. Why do you keep switching? Stay on the last one I used, you bastard. All I'm going to have to do is jump off that rock right there, and we'll be good. I'm coming for you, little Korok. Yeah. Found you. Bye-bye. Let's go ahead. All right, I guess that's the closest one. Seems like at least in this area, the enemies don't respawn. Oh, you know what? It's probably like the original game, though. Um, the respawn probably happens after a certain set amount of time. Uh, what did they call that? Like the red moon or something like that? Yeah, man. Ascend is going to completely change exploring in this game. And this is where it asks me, would you like stamina or health? And I say stamina, and then I can't get through the door. <laughs> you who have conquered the shrines and claimed their lights of blessing. In exchange for four lights of blessing, I will grant you power. All right, only heart containers this time. I shall grant the power you seek.
A rare item that restores some of the life force you lost to the gloom, increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. Go and bring peace to the world. You got it, queen. managed to open the door. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. You are almost beyond saving. By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Though our time together has been brief, I am so happy that we finally met. Exactly as Zelda said. I've done everything I can for her. Now it is up to you. No, tell me where she is. Tell me more about what's going on. Find Princess Zelda. That's our mission. Poor Fi. I really do think she got sent to a different time or something. Look at her new getup. Her Zonai garb. <laughs> Link has no clue what's going on, so he's like, dude. That thing just stole the Master Sword from me.
soundtrack of this game is a whole ass vibe. And Link. I love it. Link! You must find me. What am I looking at down there? To the Kingdom of Hyrule. Like, it's not that we went to a different time, right? Like, if anything, I think time has passed, but I don't think we went back in time or anything. I truly do think that Zelda did, but... Um... Okay, I guess I'm just supposed to jump. Oh my gosh. Video game logic, we're gonna survive this. Oh my god, that's so cool looking. Okay, and there's like a weird vortex over there. What area is that on the map? There's a big old cube over there. I rule kingdom, baby. Oh. Nope, wrong button. Okay. We're going to that first thing. Dropped on the map and already there's a bunch of bunch of stuff to look at and do. Bro is collecting apples? Okay, so, yeah, we don't have any of this stuff unlocked yet, but... Alright, I'm gonna make my way to that, and then I'm gonna go to... Well, I guess the tower. So that we can unlock this portion of the map. Soaked in sunlight, its petals can restore health depleted by gloom when used in cooking. Does that mean that it can give you, like, temp health above your current, um, max amount? Okay, let's put a pin over there, because there's clearly a thing there. Like there's a bunch of calamity over by this thing. It's a little scary. So is this going to be a dragon scale or something? Or, uh, you know what? There were, um, shooting stars that I can't remember what they called them in the game, but... They would also look like that. Uh, a fruit charged with powerful light. Break it to unleash dazzling sparkles that blind any monsters nearby. Okay. So this is what I thought those other things were going to do. Oh, I can't shoot a fox. I can't do it. I feel like I'm running past so much stuff just because this thing popped up immediately and I don't want to lose it. Alright, we'll, we'll look at the... We're going to look at all this stuff in a minute. <laughs> okay, horses. Yep. Okay, star fragment. Yep. 
a mysterious stone fragment that fell from the sky. Its gem-like quality makes it highly valuable. One theory is that it has the power to light up its environment. Okay. Okay, so that's a sky island we can go to. That's marked. We can do this one right away. I mean, I don't think we'd be able to keep the horse unless we found a stable, right? And also, I can't remember. I think we might need to find a saddle first. Alright, we'll leave them be for now. Let's do this shrine, and then check out whatever this is. Crazy, man. Already the world looks and feels very, very different than the last time we were here. Oh, over there on the right, is that the old Temple of Time? I feel like the land masses might have changed too, because that would have been the Great Plateau, right? Yeah, that's totally the old Temple of Time. I want to go there too. Man, they've already got me wanting to go every single direction. Okay. Shape rotation. necessary yet. Oh, I see, and then I need to get it through here.
Okay, cool. That's always useful. Okay. It almost seems like if it went halfway there, we'd be able to get it through. Okay, ZL resets, huh? All right, we got there. Visitor to the Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Now, will each upgrade cost four of these, um, blessings? Or will they increase over time? All right, Kingdom of Hyrule, here we are. Look at that castle. So cool. All right.
Alright, well, in the next one I think we'll make it, we'll, we'll take a look at whatever's going on here, and then we'll probably also go to that tower there. So thank you all for being here, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one where we explore more of Hyrule. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Bracken, Quinless, Chris Smith, Vlado101, and Kyle Schluter. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.